What's up everybody? Welcome to Marchant Chevrolet. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2018 Chevrolet Impala 2LZ. Good looking car, black on black. Let's take a look at it today. So we're going to get a little in depth here today at March Chevy and we're going to take a look at this beautiful Impala. Again, 2LZ. It's got the black exterior, black interior, and then to top things off, the black logos and trim and all that. Now the front of this car is absolutely sporty. It really is. The Impala has came a long way since back in the 60s, that's for sure, and I bet people back in the 60s never thought an Impala would ever even get to the point of looking like this, so futuristic, but that's the era that we live in today. Now, of course, this is a long wheelbase vehicle, meaning from front rim to back rim, it's long. What does a long wheelbase do for you? Well, here's the thing, ride quality. It makes the vehicle ride and more comfortable, less bumps in the road, it just feels better. That's one thing. Also, a longer wheelbase will give you more leg room in the front and the rear, plus a lot more cargo space. So the bigger the car, the more interior space. So those are some benefits of a long wheelbase vehicle. Have you ever ridden in a limousine before and it rides so smooth going down the highway? Yeah. Now to top things off, the rear of the vehicle is just as sexy as the front of the vehicle. You got that nice little lip spoiler coming up off the back of the trunk, dual exhaust, a little bit of chrome, a little bit of red on those taillights, backup sensors, backup camera, and then it does have the Premier package. If you looked closely, the guy walking by just now had a gun. This particular Premier package Impala comes with a set of 19 inch alloy wheels, Goodyear tires, the Goodyear Eagles, which look great on the 19s. Alright everybody, let's take a look in the trunk for a moment, because again, that is a massive trunk. I mean, that's big. Huge Impala logo, you get the net, but again, I mean, just a massive trunk. Back seats even fold down if you need them to. Wow, pretty amazing, really. You know, we kind of thought that the days of big trunks have gone away, but Chevy has definitely kept that alive with the Impala. Right, everybody, let's take a look at the Moroni label here on the car. This is an important part of the process when you're car shopping. Look at safety ratings. The IIHS, Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, is giving this five star and two four-star ratings, rollover is four-star, and frontal crash passenger four, the rest five, overall score five. So that's pretty good on, on that. Fuel economy, 28 highway, 18 city average combined of 22 mile per gallon out of a 3.6 liter V6. Price tag on a premier package, 2LZ is $40,515. Always remember, we sell new vehicles 98 over invoice, puts you at $39,659. If there's any incentive or rebate, that would be displayed there as well. Like they say, upfront invoice pricing, no closing fees, no dog fees, no admin fees, no aspirin needed at all. And no dealer add-ons, such as rough, proof rough proofing, paint sealant, undercoating, or things like that. Interior protections and waxes and all that, we don't add those on for those extra fees that most car dealers do. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interior because that's where a lot of the cool wow factor happens. Now back to over here, right? Now why am I over in this particular spot filming? Because it's in the shade and I'm trying to stay cool because it's over 90 degrees today here in Charleston, South Carolina. Now here is the key on a Premier Package Impala. Yep, that is your key. Now it is a smart key. But that is the key, and here is what it does. It has a switchblade that pops out right there. Also has remote start. So let's go ahead and crank the vehicle up, get her running. What you want to do is hit the lock button. Hear the horn. Now hold this down for five seconds. And it's cranked up just like so. You also have a trunk button 
to open up the trunk, and that's about it. All right, everybody, before we sit down inside the car, let's go ahead and take a look at our door panels and seats. So door panels here look great. Leather wrapped up onto there. That's that luxury Chevrolet is giving you. Also, memory seats, power door locks, power windows, all that stuff. Bose stereo system, cubby hole spot, bottle holder, more cubby hole here as well, and more leather right through there. The seats are really what make the Impala so comfortable to drive. I mean, look how nice the leather is with the stitching and just the way they've built the seat. It is really extremely nice, and that's why you're spending the extra money to get the Premier package on this vehicle. The leather is soft. I've always told people, like the Chevy Silverado with leather, it's the Cadillac of cowboys, right? And it's the king of the road sedan, the Chevy Impala. Let's go ahead and hop inside, take a look at everything this vehicle offers when it comes to technology, comfort, and drivability. So like I will tell you, this is a nice car. Steering wheel, leather wrapped. Now it is 96 degrees outside right now. I will tell you black with the black interior is a little much. So if you're gonna buy a black on black car, make sure you got a garage or a cover or something to keep the interior cooler because it is hot in here. But luckily I've had the car running with the remote start, which has definitely helped to cool it off a little bit. Does the vehicle have heated seats? I really don't want to try them out right now, but I do want to see if it has them. And actually it does. So you got heated seats right there. Does it have cooled? Oh yeah, it does. And I can actually feel the cooled seats cutting on right now and already putting some cool air on my back and lower body. That's really nice. I mean, the cooled seats is definitely a plus. You're gonna want those. Now, one thing I like about Chevy on this Impala here, I like the steering wheel first off. I like how these buttons and this whole little setup here is kind of nice and flush. And it's not in this area, it's up here. A lot of vehicles have the buttons built into where this hole's at. I like the hole there to be able to rest my arm or hand or something like that, okay? Just my opinion. Um, you do got an LCD screen going right through the middle right there. And to control what's going on that screen, you're gonna use these buttons over here. This is cruise control. You also have a heated steering wheel, voice command, and you have my link and all that good stuff. Chevy has also added some leather wrapped up onto the dash with the stitching and all that looks really nice. Again, that luxury kind of touch that they've added into here. Um, this is a really good looking screen. I like how it's painted on the sides and all that with the metallic, looks great. The screen is again a little tough. My, my camera is not giving it, there we go, that's a little bit better, but my camera doesn't really, um, well, maybe not. That's starting to look a little more like what I'm seeing on my eye. The colors are nice and vivid, and of course at nighttime they would look a lot better. But pretty much all your Chevys with the MyLink system have this exact same layout. You can, you know, it's a touch screen, easy to move around. Uh, here is the backup camera right there when you put it in reverse. Pretty sweet, not bad at all. You do have the start-stop engine button here, your hazard light button there, radio here, climate control there. Everything's sectioned off and easy to read, it's legible, and pretty user-friendly for the most part. So where are your USB and auxiliary ports and things like that? You wanna click open this. It does have the, uh, if you got one of the newer smartphones, as you can see here, you can lay it on there and it'll automatically charge up. I'm looking for USB ports and all. I'm assuming those possibly are under this really big armrest. Check that out, you even got a light in there. And there they are right there, two USBs and an auxiliary and an interior light. It does not have any cooling in there. Some vehicles actually do have cooling in their center console, which is really helpful. Let's say you got some medicine or something needs to stay cool, you can throw it in there. Uh, or if you just wanted to put a little bottle of water or something. This does not slide forward for shorter people. That's why it is really long. Okay, up top, that's your rear view mirror. There is no camera like the Chevy Traverse has in here. I do not know why, because Cadillac, even on their ATSs and some of their other sedans, have that new camera mirror type setup going on. This is just your traditional mirror in here. You do have OnStar, of course, that comes standard on all GM vehicles. No sunglass holders, though. Interior lighting is LED. And you do have a massive pano sunroof that stretches back to the back seats. Up here in your vanity mirrors, there you go. 
so not too bad in the front. Let's go check out leg room and headroom. Before we do, let's take a look at my leg room and headroom. I'm doing pretty good. I could actually come up a little bit more if I was going to drive today, so we'll be right there. Headroom in the front. Plenty of it. We're good to go in the front. Plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom. Again, it's an Impala, folks. It's meant to have headroom and leg room. All right, let's see what kind of amenities we have in the back seats for anybody that's sitting back here. That's about as wide as that door actually opens up. It gives a little bit more, but it doesn't stay right there. That's where it stays right there, which seems to be okay. Not bad. Back seat's just as nice looking as the front. Let's go ahead and hop in. You can already tell we got a lot of room in the back. Big windows, handles above every window. Okay, you can hold on tight if you're going fast around some corners. You also got these little spots here for maps, iPads, tablets, things like that. Magazines if you got them. You got rear air vents in the back, which is helpful on a day like today. And you have your 120 volt, 150 watt max outlet down there. So that's pretty good. You can charge some cameras up, charge that laptop, whatever you need to do. A little spot, I guess, to throw something there. They probably should have used this more wisely and added two USB ports there. That would have been a little bit nicer because I'm not seeing right now any other USB ports in the car other than in the front armrest. And with a vehicle with such a big area in the back, there should be more USBs because it's kind of obvious people are gonna be sitting back here a good bit. This doesn't open or anything like that. I do like how this is all leather right here, but I'm not a big fan of cup holders on there. I like the ones that come out so I have a little more room to rest my arm. Because if there was a cup in there right now, my arm wouldn't be doing too good. And if there's two people back here, well, I guess we're going to have to be like that instead of like that. Just pointing things out, and that's all I'm doing. You got all the hookups for child seats. You got your lights in the back coat hangers here and it's nice and roomy I wish the sunroof came back a little bit farther but it's pretty good not bad at least it extends past the headrests here so not a full panoramic panoramic glass sunroof not a full but still pretty big and it does kind of have an angle and up right here for headroom in the back as we'll look right now yeah that helps out because I'm again I'm six foot one that's perfect all right, everybody, I do appreciate you watching the review today of this gorgeous Impala Premier. So thank you for that. We're going to park it back on the lot now. This pretty much concludes our review of it. And we had a great time today here at March and Chevrolet. If you want to buy an Impala, a Malibu, or any new Chevy and you live in the Carolinas, feel free to stop by our dealership in Ravenel, South Carolina. We are literally just about 15 minutes south down Savannah Highway past the Citadel Mall, 20 minutes from historic downtown Charleston. So it's not a long drive to go to buy a car that you're looking for with a great deal. Remember, all new cars are $98 over factory invoice. If there's any incentive or rebate money available, you get that. And no dealer dock fees, admin fees, or anything like that. So that's pretty sweet. I'm liking the backed up camera. Doing a good job. Pretty big car, it really is. I don't really want to go back too much farther because we're right there on the bumper of that truck. But what a great car. You know, I'm so happy to see that Chevy is keeping the sedans around. You know, I was talking with the Ford guy today about some of the sedans at Ford because people have been saying online, you know, see you later to the Ford Fusion. This is the last year for it and all of that. And come to find out, I asked the internet guy, I said, you know, are those vehicles on the way out? He said, actually, unfortunately, yes. He says Ford's doing away with the Focus, the C-Max, the Fusion, the Taurus, most of their sedans. Don't know why. So, that's a good thing for Chevy though, because maybe if you're looking to buy a sedan with a great American brand, you'll just come over to Chevy and buy a new Impala or Malibu. We will be doing a review on the 2018 Premier Malibu very shortly. Not today, but we will review this car here next week. Stay tuned with us. Thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel here, Charleston Car Videos. Merchant Chevys, our exclusive Chevrolet dealership. 
with this channel. So they've been with us now since 2011. Please come by and do business with them. I appreciate it. If you can mention that you watched one of our reviews online, that would be great. If you're watching on MarchantChevy.com right now, thank you so much. Please send them an email or a phone call and let them know you're interested in taking a test drive. We'll see you soon, everybody. Have a blessed day. God bless America. We'll see you then.